Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm going to tell you so many new facts about Splatoon 2 that we didn't know before the lovely Direct that just happened that you might just lose your mind. Seriously though, I don't know how many there are, I'm just going to have to count them afterwards. No mucking around this time, let's dive right into things. There are going to be 14 eye colours to choose from for your inkling. The headgear shop is run by Flo, a sea slug, who's a new character, obviously. The clothing shop is run by a jellyfish called Jelfonzo, who speaks in a butcher old English. The shoe shop is run by Bisque, who is a spider crab. There's a new practice area which is much bigger and has a lot more to do inside it. Now let's have a look at some new weapons. There's the Clash Blaster, which is a short range, low damage, high rate of fire weapon. The Flingzer Roller, which has a long jump fling, which is slow to charge, and a short quick firing normal fling. There's the Goo Tuber, which I already love the name of, which is a charger which holds its charge for bloody ages when you're inside the ink. And there's the Dapple Duelies, which have a very fast rate of fire and very quick dash and presumably has a shorter range, although they didn't explicitly say it in the direct. Moving on, we have two brand new special weapons. We have Ink Armor, which temporarily increases the defense of your teammates and entirely negates the first hit that you receive, no matter how powerful it is. And there's the Baller, which is sort of a hamster ball that explodes when you're done. It can go up walls on, it's kind of difficult to tell. Is it invulnerable? We don't know. But what about some new maps? Well, worry ye not, we've got some of them as well. We've got Ink Blot Art Academy, we've got Starfish Main Stage, Humpback Pump Track, which is fun to say, and Sturgeon Shipyard. Also, Port Mackerel's back. Who'd have thought it? We've also got some brand new abilities to talk about, one of which is called Thermal Ink. Now, this will allow you to track foes through walls that you've hit with your ink for a short time, which is quite nice. You've also got Object Shredder, which increases all damage that you deal to non-inkling objects. You've also got Respawn Punisher, which interestingly increases your respawn time and special gauge reduction, but also does the same thing for anyone who splats you, so it's kind of an interesting trade-off. You've also got Drop Roller, which allows you to roll in any direction using the left stick as soon as you land a super jump, which could be seriously useful. And also you've got all these things, many of which look like new abilities, but unfortunately we've got no idea what they do. Feel free to speculate your tentacles off down there in the comments. Now we've got some new Salmon Run information, and interestingly we've got some new Salmonid bosses including Steel Eel, Fly Fish, Steelhead, Drizzle, Stinger and Moors. Interestingly fog can appear on the map which limits your visibility, water levels can rise and fall, decreasing or increasing the land mass, and if night falls, Salmonoids move much more quickly, so you better be aware. There are also some exclusive items and gear that are only unlocked through Salmon Run, so make sure you don't ignore it. Back onto some more general stuff now, all rank modes, which is basically Rainmaker, Splat Zones and Tower Control, have their own rank independent of one another. And that looks like there may be space for a fourth one there. Hmm, who knows. League Battle also seems like it's replaced Rank Battle in terms of teams, suggesting that Rank Battle is possibly now teamless, so you can go in as a single inkling but not team up with your friends, which, well, that's interesting. You can set the sensitivity for TV and handheld mode separately, which is going to be very useful if you don't want to be moving around your Switch console massively if you're using the motion controls in handheld mode. You can sort all gear and weapons by type and various other things. There's a new me verse like art area, which seems to function almost identically to Miiverse by placing art on billboards and walls in-game, and you can even post it to social media. However, it is not intrinsically tied to Miiverse, because Miiverse is dead. Really fantastically, you can save control settings, your gear, and your weapon loadout to an amiibo, and load it up on any other console, which is perfect for esports. And supposedly, the original Splatoon amiibo can do this as well. Nice one. Krusty Sean is back, and it's about time too, and he's selling food that gives you cash or XP bonuses for the next battle you play. Land battle is also confirmed. I don't know whether we knew that already, but nevertheless, I thought I should mention it. And Squid Beats 2 is a thing. Who'd have thought it? It's basically just another rhythm game like the original Squid Beats, but it doesn't look like you can play it during a loading screen, although we don't know that for sure, so do not take that as gospel. There's also Splatnet 2. Now, I cannot do justice to the finer details of this app without going through basically exactly what the video said, so instead, here's just the official rundown before we get back into the list. Next, I'll detail a new service in Splatoon 2 that will help you stay in touch with Inkopolis, even when you're not near your console. Say hello to Splatnet 2, a service that puts information such as stage schedules, gear, and stats at your fingertips. In Splatnet 2, you can view detailed results for your last 50 battles. 
and get an in-depth look at the weapons and gear wielded by the players in those battles. You can also look at your win rates for specific modes and stages, helping you to analyze and improve your game. You can also view your lifetime inkage, a feature that shows you how much turf you've inked compared to real-world places. And for you gearheads out there, there's also a separate Splatnet shop that allows you to send gear to Merch in Inkopolis Square. He'll uh, keep it in the back for you. I don't know why they put a picture of Annie in there, but I'm excited. Splatnet 2 will be available to use via a smart device app called Nintendo Switch Online. The Nintendo Switch Online app allows you to invite other players who also have the game to join private battles, league battles, Splatfest battles, and communicate with those players using voice chat. When using voice chat, you'll automatically be split into your in-game teams, so you can talk specifically to teammates. Now we get on to the good stuff, the content updates. Now, we've been told the updates will happen for a year after release, which is a very, very long time and sounds fantastic. One of the things we're going to get is a mother-chuffing umbrella weapon called the Splatbrella, which acts like a shield as well as a weapon, which is frankly bonkers and I love it. And we've also got a sodding bubble blower special weapon as well. I, it just looks wonderful. I'm just so pleased they've managed to come up with some really weird and original ideas. And who to thunk it, Splatfests are back. I think we already knew that, so I'm not going to include that as one of the points. But what I am going to include as one of the points is that Splatfest will run for two years. That's all the Splatfests altogether, not two years each. Also, very interestingly, there are some new Squid Sister replacements. Marina and another one. Marina and Pearl. Oh, and it's really interesting to note that Marina is not an inkling. She is, in fact, an octoling if you look at her hair and her eyes. Spicy. And finally, and very excitingly, there's going to be a Splatfest ahead of release on the 15th of July. It's not clear at the time of recording if you need to download a separate file from the eShop, or if it's going to be the same thing as the test fire and you just boot up, but I'm sure we'll find out in due course. And there you have it, more Splatoon 2 facts than you could possibly know what to do with. Did we miss any facts? Probably, because we're only inkling after all, so if we did, let us know down there in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you read off a list of all the things you know about about that subscribe button and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye. Oh.